so yeah it was definitely a struggle but I also didn't really accept myself at that time that I was gay or whatever so yeah I definitely had crushes um, honestly it was kind of rare for me to have crushes on guys my age I always was more attracted to older guys and I still am I find guys that are older and mature and like have their lives together a little bit to be more attractive I don't like immature guys most guys my age were and so like I'll be honest I had crushes on some of the like leaders which are like the married men the older guys <laughs> And so, I don't know, yeah, like, it happens, there are also guys who go on missions, and you come back, and then, like, come out of the closet, I've dated a returned missionary before, and, I don't know, my boyfriend has lots of friends who have gone on missions, um, my boss at work is also gay, and he went on a mission and stuff, so you never know. Okay, anyway, sorry for all the people who might be confused by what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, next question. Let's see. Which camera and which microphone do you use? The video quality is always great. Okay. I use the... Canon 6D Mark II, but if you are trying to start a channel, definitely don't buy it. <laughs> um, I got it because I also do photography. It's an expensive camera. You don't need it to have good ASMR videos. There's much cheaper alternatives. <laughs> um, I also use a 50mm 1.8 lens right now which is why the background can be, like, really blurry. Like, if I put my hand up, like, see how blurry the background is? So, um, that's because it's, like, a portraiture lens. So I need to buy a different lens. I used to have a different one, but I sold it. I also use the Blue Yeti Blackout. I just got it on Amazon, and it's been great. Um, I know a lot of people love the Blue Yeti, and I like that it doesn't sound super, like, enhanced, I guess. Like, some microphones just sound, like, fake, like it's over the top, so it's more natural sounding, which I like. Uh, so thank you for the questions. Okay. Sorry, my dog is being loud. He's like sleeping and snoring. Um, would you make a fans only page with some personal pictures? <laughs> so I think that's like porn <laughs> or something like where you post pictures and videos of yourself and I don't think I would. Um, I don't even like my body enough to do stuff like that, but like, you know, maybe one day if I'm really desperate, I will actually have a friend who does stuff like that. She literally just makes a living off of sending pictures of her body to guys, <laughs> and she hasn't had a job in like over a year. I'm like, that's nice. Honestly, like, if you could do it, do it. <laughs> so, I don't know, you know. Would you ever go vegan? I don't think I could. I mean, I've thought about it, like going vegetarian, because I hate the fact that animals get, like, tortured and stuff. Because I love animals, and it, like, makes me want to cry <laughs> to think about animals dying and, like, being killed, like, inhumanely, or whatever. So, it's sad. But I don't think I could go vegan. I do love meat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I could do it vegan. That's like, you can't even have honey, I don't think. It's like straight up just plants. I don't know. Let's see. Do you enjoy doing 
ASMR, or do you have some triggers that annoy you? Okay, here's the tea. When you're doing tapping videos and like brushing videos, they can get a little bit boring, which sucks, but like you do it for the people watching, you know? And honestly, one thing I don't like is if I'm tapping on something and I'm like holding it and moving it around the microphone, your shoulders literally get tired from holding it up for so long, if that makes sense. And so I'll like rest my arms for a second. Bruh. But there's not triggers that bother me, but there are videos that can be boring to film sometimes, which kind of sucks because you're like, oh, why don't I feel like filming it? But, <laughs> you know, I do love ASMR though. I feel like I'll do it as long as you guys allow me to do it. <laughs> Okay. Hi, my name is Nikki. My two questions are How was it working with relaxing male ASMR? And do you think you'll make another video with him? I watched your collab video with him and it was so good. To me, finding the right ASMR video is important, but when it has a gorgeous guy doing it, well, that's just a bonus. Thanks for your time. Thank you for the question. And for calling me gorgeous, I guess. Unless that was directed towards Tom. So, <laughs> just kidding. You're a queen. Queen, queen, queen. Um, okay, so it was honestly really good working with Tom. We worked on that collab for a long time. Um, it's just hard. Um, because we were talking through, like, emails and stuff for a long time, and it took us, like, weeks to even figure out what we wanted to do. But, yeah, Tom's awesome. He's become one of my YouTube friends, I guess. Like, we still talk. I think, like, we DM each other and just, like, send each other, like, video. I sent him, like, a video idea the other day, and, like, I don't know. Like, he recently did a collab with, um, like, GB and, like, all these bigger ASM artists. And, like, I asked him about it, and I was, of course, the only one that he told. Just kidding, he might have told other people, but I don't know. Yeah, so we're, like, YouTube friends, I guess you could say. And we still talk. Um, so, he is awesome. Go check him out if you haven't. And, I don't know, maybe we will do another video. I'm not sure. Maybe one day. He's going to pass me up in subscribers. His channel is growing very fast, which is awesome. So, good for him. What is your favorite horror film? Congrats, 20k subs. Thank you. Um, okay. I really love the Conjuring movies. I like all the Conjurings, the Nun, Annabelle movies. That's like my favorite series, I guess. Um, my favorite two are probably Annabelle Creation and The Conjuring 2. Those were really fun to watch. I loved them. Um, like, The Nun was okay, and I liked The Conjuring 1 a lot as well, but those two are my favorite. Um, okay. What started you to do ASMR? And what is your most favorite ASMR tingle? Tingle as of right now. I think they meant trigger. <laughs> um, well, I started just by, well, I listened to it for literally like six or seven years before I started doing it. Um, I listened
listen to it like before it was even called ASMR or I knew what ASMR was and it was like when I was younger I was probably like 14 or something 15 yeah and uh, I loved it and so after doing my main channel for about a year I tried ASMR and it grew a lot faster and I enjoyed doing it and so um, yeah that's I guess how I got started and yeah uh, will you start a gaming channel I literally asked Risp on this yesterday I was like should I start a gaming channel and he was like no keep it on your main channel so you could be like PewDiePie <laughs> And so, yeah, I honestly want to start doing more gaming, even, like, either on my main channel or ASMR gaming streams and stuff, like, I've thought about Twitch, I don't know, so we'll see. I'm not amazing at video games, I'm not ninja, but, like, I still would love to do it. Okay. So, we'll see. If you guys want to see me start gaming more, let me know. Okay, you said brutally honest, so you asked for it. When have you had sex for the first time, and how was it compared to how you thought it would be? Okay. Tea time. I honestly lost my virginity only a couple of years ago and it was weird I wish I could say it was like amazing but it wasn't <laughs> I mean like the sex now is great and I love it but um definitely the first time was weird I didn't like it it felt wrong it just I don't know. I didn't really... I had to, like, learn to like it, I guess. I don't know, which is weird, because I'm a very sexual person, so... You would think that I would just love it, but it was just... I had to, like, stop, and I was like, let's try again another time, maybe. <laughs> as awkward as that might sound, but... Yeah, that was my experience. It wasn't what I was expecting, so... Kind of like your first kiss, you're expecting it to be a certain way, then it's a lot different, so... Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see... Being in a relationship, are you ever afraid it's just going to end one day? Yes. Um, nothing lasts forever. It 100% will end one day matter what, <laughs> even if just one of us dies, or if Rizvan decides to not date me, and he finds someone better, <laughs> just kidding, I don't think we'll ever break up or anything, but it's possible, I do, we do have a really healthy relationship, compared to most relationships these days that don't last, and I think we'll be together for a long time. <laughs> Yeah, there's always that fear. Um, you never know. Uh, sometimes people think of things and they don't communicate it, and then they just let it build up, and then they end up breaking up. So relationship problems are really difficult. Um, but I'm not really worried about that right now. And I hope you're not either. <laughs> you shouldn't be. If you are, then there's probably some problems with the relationship. ASMR Whisper Time, which you guys should check out his channel. He doesn't have many subscribers, but he actually has good videos, so go check him out. ASMR Whisper Time. Um, he asked, let me see. Do you consider yourself an introvert? introvert? extrovert or somewhere in between what for you is the greatest piece of advice for facing the world and living life or what is
is the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely introverted. I've made videos of ASMR for introverts specifically, where I just talk about being an introvert and like how to overcome it a little bit. Well, I don't want to say overcome, but like deal with it because I know it can be hard sometimes to socialize and you get social anxiety more I feel like and you just like to be alone um so let me reread it the greatest piece of advice for facing the world and living life um honestly my greatest piece of advice is to go after what you're passionate about to find out what it is. It could take years to find out what you really like. If you like singing, sing. If you like making YouTube videos, make YouTube videos. Don't let anybody try to tell you otherwise that you shouldn't do the things that make you happy or that you're passionate about because it's too competitive or you won't make it because the people who say those types of things most likely didn't achieve their goals and it's their own fault so I think do what makes you happy be carefree the less you give a shit the happier you'll be about like everything <laughs> okay thank you for the question Is the one thing that a stranger has done to you that you still remember up to this day? I'm trying to think of like a good thing or a bad thing, but I guess one thing I will always remember, I guess, and it's gonna sound so stupid. in, I think, 8th grade. Um, this is literally so dumb. I don't know, but it made me happy. Um, like, me and some kid. I didn't have friends at the time. I had just moved schools and stuff. And me and some kid, like, both were going for the drinking fountain at the same time. And he was like, oh, go ahead. Like, he let me drink before him. <laughs> I just, I remember just feeling like that was just a nice gesture. I don't know, like the littlest things can change someone's day. And this happened like years ago. And I still remember it. And it's so weird to think about just because like I was going through hard things. And it was just nice to have someone do something so small. But it like really made a difference. And I'm sure he has no idea. Like, there's not a chance that he remembers even doing that. I don't even know that kid anymore. It's just weird. Anyway, um, what piece of advice made you change the way you view things? Honestly, I'm really not very good at taking advice. I like to figure things out by myself and, like... I don't know, I hate being corrected. Like, when me and my boyfriend used to, like, go to the gym together, he would, like, correct my form and stuff sometimes. And even though I know it's, like, to help me, like, not get hurt and stuff, I would just, like, get annoyed. I was just like, so I don't know. Biggest piece of advice, I guess just, like, I listen to Joe Rogan's podcast, and he talks, like, if I'm having a bad day or whatever, I'll, like, listen to a podcast or Google, like, Joe Rogan on, like, having a bad day or, like, jobs that suck, and, like, he just has such a good perspective on everything, and he has, like, a really inspiring like, I guess he just has a good way of putting things into words. And I'm like, oh yeah, like, that makes sense. And like, I don't know, I guess 
just through life experience and just learning to be carefree and you'll be happier that way, I think. I don't know if that even answered the question, <laughs> but what is the earliest memory you had? I'm 
so stupid. Like, what was I thinking? Like, he literally is just, like, the perfect guy for me. I don't know. I'm just, I regret doing that, and I feel bad. Thank you for the questions. Do you think you've really found yourself and who you are as a person? If so, what did you do that helped with this? Debatably cliche, but I'm a big believer in this. you 
YouTubers who have like a character like Miranda Sings. I don't know if you mean like that or if you mean like Jake Paul who like is so like over the top excited about everything in his videos and stuff and like he says to try so hard to be funny. Like I don't think I could ever do a character like Miranda Sings or anything. Exaggerated version of yourself to be like an entertaining YouTuber, I guess, kind of, because you want people to stay and watch and be entertained. So I don't know, like, but I feel like I'm pretty similar in real life. I'm just like exaggerated, so I don't think I'll ever be a fake YouTuber or whatever, <laughs> like a character. How has ASMR changed your life? Did you expect all the repercussion? Wait, what does repercussion mean? Let me Google it. I'm stupid. Define repercussion. An unintended consequence occurring sometime after an event or action. Oh, okay. So, like, was I expecting all the attention? I guess. definitely changed my life. Um, I do... I kind of do it like part-time now, I guess. A little bit. I have like one day that I try to film videos a week. And it's amazing. And I have been like growing on all my social media, which is awesome. Thanks to YouTube. I literally owe it all to YouTube. And I wasn't expecting the repercussion. <laughs> Seeing my first video and getting my first subscriber, and it was like so fast, and it's just like a great feeling to have built up like a little community of my own, and like people who will watch every video and honestly like just give me positive feedback and stuff. Like it really is so amazing. Um, ASMR definitely has changed my life, and not even just as a YouTuber, but like listening to it. I listen to it every single day. I listen to it when I'm playing video games, or I listen to it when I'm editing pictures for... I'll even listen to it while I'm posting a video to YouTube that is ASMR. <laughs> so, in a lot of ways. And... I also got my boyfriend into it, and he loves it now, so thanks for the question. Uh, let me see. Congratulations on 20k, you're on the way to 2 million, I wish. Do you believe the old ditch brothers straw code? Ditch brothers straw code? I'm sorry, I don't know what that reference is. Don't hate me um, outside of ASMR. What other things do you enjoy doing? I am a photographer. I really love photography. And you guys can follow my photography Instagram if you want. Um, it's in the bio of my main Instagram, if that makes sense. So I do that. I really like to, I enjoy like exercise. I like to go to the gym every day and work out. It's definitely something that's helped me a lot the past few years. And just like working on like building a better body and stuff and like nutrition. Um, I also have two dogs that I love to spend time with and play with and make out with. I love them. <laughs> and I like art. I like music. There's like, I like a lot of different things. Um, I like plants. I used to have a ton of succulents. And then my dog ate them all. I even have a cactus on a necklace. It's a real, I know it's a succulent right now. And I have to water it and stuff. I don't know. I guess I have really weird hobbies. I like volleyball, you know, just random stuff. Daddy. That's not a question, but thank you. Would you consider doing photography professionally and making money from it one day? 
just barely went on a photo shoot, uh, what was it, yesterday, two days ago, on Saturday, and it was really cool. We did, like, smoke bombs, and it was pretty dope, so you guys can find those on my Instagram as well once I post them. But yeah, I would love to do photography and YouTube full-time, like, that's all I, if that's all I did, I would, that's like a dream, so... Yes, I love photography, but I want to get more into it and go on more shoots. Sometimes I'm lazy. Um, no questions, just send loves and request you to do more videos. Thank you. <laughs> what got you started on an ASMR channel? Was it expensive starting up? What was your first recording setup? Have any of your friends and family seen anything from your channel? And if so, how did they react? What kind of music do you like? Okay, these are a lot. Okay, first of all, I kind of answered how I started. I just wanted to do YouTube one day, and then a year after doing my main channel, started ASMR because I love ASMR, and then I got a good response. Okay, first recording setup was just my camera. I think my first like six videos were just my camera and like I realized it was growing pretty fast and I had money and so I, oh yeah, I also had a ring light because I did photography. I kind of had a head start, like I had a nice camera and a ring light. So I had to buy my microphone, this microphone later on. I mean, just starting off, you could just use, like, Apple headphones with the mic, or you can use a camera with, um, the voice memo thing that actually works really well. And so, no, you don't have to have expensive stuff to start up. A film by a window, that's what I'm doing right now. And you're, you're golden. Okay. Um, let's see. Have any of your friends and family seen your channel? How did they react? Yes. Um, a lot of people don't get it. Most people don't understand ASMR. And, like, I've had to explain it to my family. Like, just recently my stepbrother was asking me about it. And I was like, I had to explain that it's not like a fetish or like a sexual thing. And he was like, oh. And, like, I don't know, it was hard to explain it and like but they all support me and my friends like they support me or they don't care they're like cool whatever so it's fine um okay what kind of music do you like i like sad music <laughs> i like doing on pilots i like pop punk or whatever i like some rock, I don't know, like neck deep if you guys know who they are um Avril Lavigne she's like pop punk I think some 41 I don't know or like just chill songs, chill step I like EDM a little bit uh, so just I don't like country, that's about it Would you ever do a video with music, or do you think that distracts from the ASMR? I have done videos with music. Um, in my video where I did um, my favorite songs made into ASMR, I played the songs over the back, and I thought it was really nice, so you can go check that out. <laughs> or I've done like muffled music. If you just type in Tyson ASMR muffled music, I'm sure they'll pop up. I've done it multiple times. Um, what are your favorite triggers and least favorite? Um, tapping and whispering are my favorite. I also like like repeated words. Um, Laura did a video recently, like a live stream, and I've watched it like ten times. And there's
there's this part where she does like hand movements and she's like and she does it like really fast i can't really do it but she does it so good and i loved it i like glass tapping like the very high pitched light tapping i love that and just like the ambience of like cars passing in the distance i don't know why i've always found that very triggering and relaxing um okay least favorite trigger just sexual asmr videos i don't think that asmr really needs to be sexual i know it's not really like a trigger but like people will do like i've seen girls do videos with like their boobs hanging out and they are like sucking on a microphone and just like trying to get views i'm like there really aren't triggers that i don't like i like all triggers mouth sounds eating sounds i like them all um let's see how do you usually experience asmr if you do
you bond, I guess. So I think that that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Um, do you smoke weed or ever tried it? I did once. I got high. And I couldn't stop laughing. And it, I slept really good that night. That's about it. If you could visit any part of the world, where would you go and why? Iceland. It's pretty. <laughs> um, let's see. When is your next ASMR collaboration? I don't have one planned. Um, I've had people email me who want to collab, but I just haven't been super interested right now. It's just not anyone I really want to collab with right now. I'm just doing my own thing, I guess. And I'm not trying to be like, oh, like, I'm better than you or whatever. Like, I just... Collabs are hard. And it's hard to, like, set them up and stuff. So maybe one day I'll do another one. <laughs> um, did you the Bandito tour? I think they're asked if I went to the 21 Pilots concert. No. I don't even know if they came yet, but the tickets were, like, sold out so fast. And then to buy them, they were, like, a million dollars. And so, no. And I literally want to cry. Let's not talk about it, because I'm obsessed with them. Okay, I knew I would get this question at least once. Are you a top or bottom, or is that too personal? Okay. Here's the day. You guys have always asked me this. I have never topped. Okay. Uh, I always thought that I would be a top. And I think that I'm like, I think they call it first. It's where you like both. And I've learned to like bottom, bottoming. I really enjoy it. But like, I also would be down to top. You know, uh, but I never tried it because I've only had sex with one person, so that's the D. <laughs> anyway, so I guess I'm a bottom as of now. <laughs> but I, I would like to try topping because I do like that. Um, I feel like I would like it. So, what's your favorite type of position when playing around with your boo? Oh my god. I mean, you can answer, but if you're comfortable, oh my gosh, okay, I don't want him to, like, get mad at me for answering these questions, but, like, I guess, like, missionary, <laughs> I don't like doggy style, <laughs> I don't, I, like, I want to see them, I don't want to look at the bed, you know, there's, like, certain things I do like during sex, but I'm not gonna go into them. Y'all are... <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Um, next question. <laughs> Why hasn't he seen Finding Nemo? Oh my gosh, I found out Respawn has never seen Finding Nemo the other day. Because we were eating sushi, and I made a joke about fish eggs that were on the sushi, and he was like, what? And I was like, you've never seen Finding Nemo? I don't know, like, he said he's seen parts of it, <laughs> but that's it. I'm like, okay, we gotta change that. Um, let's see. Oh, this person sent, like, a few top or bottom. You guys know. What do you want to be when you grow up? A uh, YouTuber, photographer. <laughs> What's your favorite fast food place and what do you order? Okay, first thing that came to mind was Taco Bell. I, okay. I really love their crunch wraps, so I'll probably get two crunch wraps and like two soft tacos. I really like their nacho fries as well. Oh, maybe I should do a Taco Bell mukbang. That sounds so good. Um, so yeah, love those. Um, how did you and your BF meet? Tinder. We 
he's still are gonna try to do a video together, but he never wants to film, so it sucks. <sighs> Why is Apex better than a Fortnite? Okay, I never claimed that it was, but there are certain things that I heard Ninja talking about that, like, why it's better. Like, they have things in that game that they don't have in Fortnite. Like, you can protect yourself while you're down, or there's no building, which kind of would be nice, because people are so good at it now that it's annoying. But I've really only watched a few people play it, but it looks cool. How did you guys meet Tinder? Uh, I'll tell the whole story one day, I swear. What's your favorite memory with your BF? Um, I don't know, like, that's a lot. One of my favorites was our first date. It was so perfect, but I'm not gonna tell you guys till we do our video together. <laughs> Sorry. Do you prefer Universal Studios or Disneyland? Also, a lot of love from Kuwait. Kuwait, I don't know how to say that. Thank you. Love you, girl. Uh, Universal Studios, hands down. I never really liked Disneyland that much, except for Tower of Terror, but I think they tore it down, I think. I don't know. I love Universal Studios. So cool. I haven't been in years, though. Who's the top and who's the bottom? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I mean, ask him now. He's the top. I'm the bottom. <laughs> You're welcome for finally answering that. Um, would you ever do a video like Seb ASMR's most recent video? Never mind, not most recent. His feet one. It was interesting and actually relaxing. <laughs> like a foot fetish video. I don't know, maybe. My feet aren't cute. Who knows? If you can live one day without any limitations or anxiety, what would you do? Interesting question. I don't know what I would do. That is very interesting. Maybe just... I don't know. I have, like, video ideas for, like, my main channel and stuff. But I'd have to, like, be in public and, like... It's just scary. <laughs> I don't know. So probably film some, like, really cool videos, which is so sad because I guess I have bad anxiety and stuff. Uh, what are your fave traveling destinations for the future? Uh, I really like Puerto Penasco, Mexico. My family always goes there for, like, vacations. And I just have so many memories there. And I will always love it there, so... I want to go there again in the future. Um, let's see. Have you ever quaked while watching yourself? <laughs> Have I ever quaked while watching myself? I've cringed. Is that the same thing? Yes, definitely quaked in my boots. <laughs> So here's my question. What was the process products you used on your hair to dye that color? Thanks again for being such a real relatable person. YouTuber. Hashtag LGBT icon. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I got it professionally done. You can see it's like... Ugh, maybe it's the lighting, but if I open this, it usually looks lighter than this. Like, that's what it usually looks like. But, um, I don't know, it's like, um, she dyed it twice, and then put toner in it, and like, that was it. <laughs> but it took like two hours. Sorry. And I have a friend who does hair, and he 
he wants to like make it even whiter so I think we're gonna dye it again and tone it again to make it lighter because it's kind of turning you can see the blonde a little bit now so I'm sorry I don't know exactly what she did listening to it. No, it's definitely different and it's can be a little bit you feel like pressure, not like pressure, but like you just want to give the viewer a good experience and I want to always put out good videos. So sometimes like when you're filming it's just like you're worried that the sounds don't sound amazing or I don't know. Usually it's fine. It's not the same as listening to it, but sometimes you get bored and then you get tired. I don't know. Um, you support me as a credit creator on Fortnite. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your Fortnite username? It is Tyson A S M R now. Uh, so it's like just like my username on here. Exactly how it is. And my support a creator thing is Hey Queen, all caps, hyphen, Q U E E N. So, if y'all want to do that, please do. <laughs> Can I have your hair? Yes. Scout me, father. Just kidding. <laughs> what other colors would you like to dye your hair the most? I think it'd be cool to do like a blue or something, like a teal maybe, pink, I don't know. After doing this, I'm like, what color should I do? <laughs> Thoughts on, I don't know how to say that, Jet Greek, <laughs> or what's your favorite book of all time? I don't know what that is, sorry, but um, my favorite book. I liked the Divergent series and the Hunger Games and Harry Potter. I'm so basic, I'm sorry. I used to read a lot when I was younger. Uh, okay. You have one superpower, what is it? And what's the very first thing you do with it? I love that question. I love superheroes and stuff, but um, I would teleport 100%. Like, if you've seen the movie Jumper, it's so cool. So, I would teleport into the sky really high, and then I would just, like, free fall. Till I got to the ground, and then I would teleport away. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, teleportation, for sure. I would just, like, go to the places that I would want to go. Also, anal fisting, yay or nay? <laughs> no, I've never done it. I don't think I ever will. I'm not strictly being mean. <laughs> uh, let's see. What school did you go to in Arizona? So, I would be going to Queen Creek High School if I went to high school there, but I went to Desert Mountain Elementary School for all of my elementary and then I went to Newell Barney Junior High so if you know what that is that's cool and is that all the questions okay that's all the snapchat questions we have just a couple more minutes left for starting an ASMR channel. Start off with just basic tapping, whispering, and then you can branch off into other things you want to do. Start off with just your phone. It's totally fine. Don't worry too much about like production value. Some 
because you mostly don't even watch the videos. You kind of just close your eyes and listen. So audio is number one. And people like lo-fi. So start with lo-fi with your bone or whatever and you'll be good. Um, then you can start being more creative and then just doing um, like, you know, scary stories or like story times, whatever you want. It's really fun. I really love the ASMR community. Um, do you have any advice on how long to date before asking someone to be your boyfriend? This is a gay relationship, by the way. There really doesn't have to be like a certain amount of time. I think just as long as you both are feeling it. And it's been more than a month. I guess it's like the minimum, I would say. I guess. And you both are just feeling it, just do it. And if they're not feeling it, hopefully they're just honest with you and you guys can keep dating and then go from there. So it's really not hard. Um, okay. Who is your favorite ASM artist and why? Um, Gentle Whispering will always be my number one. She's my queen. <laughs> my inspiration, and then probably ASMR Zeitgeist at number two, because he obviously puts in, like, an insane amount of work and time into his videos, and it's just really inspiring. Um, let's see. Just or afraid every time you upload or record. 
record a video? That's a good question. And, I mean, it was scarier at first. It's a lot easier now. Um, but I think I've just built a community that is very supportive and nice. And I know that I'll get, like, love comments <laughs> or, like, positive feedback every time I upload, no matter what, which is so nice. And I will get negative comments, which do affect me still, but it's hardly ever. There's, like, two people who always comment negative things about I'm gay and, like, a fag and all this stuff, but... I, like, don't care. It's probably just, like, some annoying kids who don't have a life. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's almost harder to receive hate when you're smaller just because you don't have that audience that, like, has your back, you know? Um, how it feels to be a YouTuber. I love being a YouTuber. Um, it's honestly changed my life. I really like it, just talking to a camera. And I like to be by myself anyway. And just, I think it's so cool that I can make some money from it, doing something that I really love to do. And I've always loved like videography, photography. So it's kind of perfect for me. And then I can just stay in my house and do it. Like it's so dope. I really like it. How do you handle the trolls and malicious comments on YouTube? You just gotta ignore them. I've responded a couple times, and it usually just starts, like, an argument. And, like, my subscribers will jump in and, like, I don't know. You just gotta ignore them, I guess. There's not really anything you can do. So that's it. I hope it's not too late for this. Thanks in advance. I hope someday you reach 1 million subscribers and be famous as Shane Dawson. <laughs> Same. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Riptide King, you are a king. I was going to say a queen, but that wouldn't make sense. Uh, oh, someone just sent me a screenshot of 20,000 subscribers. Uh, let's see. I'm like trying to sift through all the messages and find the questions. <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? I... <laughs> I don't know. Literally. I'm just awkward. I have so many... Okay, I have an awkward story. So I went to the gym. This was maybe like last year. And... It was nighttime, and I walked in, and the guy was like, Hi, how are you? Like, he greeted me, and I was like, Good morning. But it was nighttime, and I was like, Oh God. And I was like, Corrected myself, and I was like, Good night. <laughs> and it was so awkward, and the guy was just like, and I was like, I mean, and I just like felt so awkward and walked away. So, could you imagine how awkward that was for me? Like, I'm so insecure, and so I just, I was like, felt so uncomfortable. I said good night. Like that doesn't even make sense. <sighs> yeah, it was weird. So that was embarrassing, and then just a lot of things. I do so many embarrassing things. Um, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Um, I think I was nineteen. I don't know, it was just like weird. 
stupid. Um, let's see, what would your ideal wedding be? I don't know, I just want there to be a lot of, I want there to be s'mores and cheesecake. I don't want to get married though. I don't ever want to have a wedding. So I don't really have an ideal one, just to have a lot of food. <laughs> my ideal wedding. Sorry. Uh, celebrity crushes. Oh, love that question. Okay. My number one celebrity crush of all time, probably, is uh, Theo James. He's the guy from Divergent. He's literally one of the most beautiful men I've ever seen in my life. Um, like, look at this picture. Don't you just want to smash him? Wait, let me find a good one. Uh, that is a picture of him, if it'll focus. <laughs> Hello. He's so hot. Um, literally, I would have his children. Um, who else? I like this game. Okay. Other celebrity crushes. I really like, um, what's his name? I think he's so cute. The guy from Hunger Games. Liam Hemsworth, that guy, uh, Thor's brother, and Chris Hemsworth, he's on too. Um, who are other celebrity crushes? Um, oh my gosh, should we talk about, like, Instagram crushes? Smith Julian, that's his Instagram, he has like a million followers. He just, it's like beautiful, and he's like, has an amazing body. Oh, gosh. I mean, that's a picture of, like, him, his body. <laughs> oh, you literally can't see it, but he's, like, literally so hot. Um, I don't know. Are there any other good ones? I don't know. He just has, like, really amazing body and celebrities. I don't have a ton of celebrity crushes, honestly, but I do have, like, Instagram crushes. Um, this is kind of funny, because <laughs> Rizmon thinks that this guy looks like me. He's, like, another fitness guy, but he's so cute. He is also does, like, Fortnite streams, ASMR crush videos. <laughs> Those are some of my favorites. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, anyway, those are my celebrity crushes. Uh, and is that most of the questions? Let's see. I think that's mostly it. soon. <laughs>